How can I be consistent in studying? This is one of the most frequently asked questions by students. And let me answer this question with exact solutions. Now, studying, it is a process. For example, studies, that is your education, that is your degree, that is your educational qualification. But when we say studying, so it means that I am doing an action. Now, why we are not consistent in study? Because we are not studying in a proper way. We do not enjoy our study. When we study, so we get data, we get information, and we get knowledge, we get understanding, we get uh, talent, we get capability. So that is an accomplishment. That is an achievement. We are getting something. For example, I'm working in my office, so I get salary, I get money. If I'm sitting in my shop, I'm sitting in my business uh, area, so I'm getting something. That something is important and that's why I am working. If I don't get anything, so why should I study? Why should I work? If I don't get money, why should I work? So if I don't get knowledge, data, information, understanding, capability, capacity, change in my personality, in my thoughts, in my understanding, in my expression, so why should I study? So the first point that is result oriented study. Make a goal for yourself, for your study. What is the goal of today or what is the goal of my coming five hours? What I am going to get as a result of my study? What new words, vocabulary, grammar, information, whatever is there. So what I will be getting and point out go into details that what is that thing that I am getting after the study. Whether it is a paragraph reading and then writing a paragraph or you are getting something which is concrete, which is exact, which is tangible, which you can count, which you can touch, which you can see, which you can observe, something which is solid. And that is, if you have the goal, so automatically you will be studying consistently. Let's understand the word consistency. Consistency means logic. Whether something is logical or not. Logical means that whether it is acceptable to our mind or not. When I say 2 plus 2 make 4, so it is logical because my mind immediately accepts it. When I say 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, my mind immediately accepts it because it is logical, it is mathematical, it is rational, it is reasonable, it is not stupid. When I say 2 plus 2 is equal to 10, so it is stupid and I don't accept it. I don't consider it to be logical. So logical means why you are going to study. <clears throat> what is the purpose of your study? Is it career? So another meaning of consistency that is need, whether something is logical, so do you need it or you don't need it? Do you need your studies? Really you need, if you are a prince, or if you are an entrepreneur, or if you are a big business person, or if you are a landlord, if you are, you know, a person already with a lot of accomplishments, so maybe you don't need study, just enjoy, just chill, just walk, just travel, just listen to music, just do something else more interesting than reading books and uh, listening to lectures. <clears throat> so ask yourself, that, do you need it? Really you need it? Are you jobless? Do you need a career? Or do you want to enjoy your studying process for entertainment, for pleasure? Do you need the pleasure of reading? Or you have some other better opportunities of pleasure, maybe eating, maybe sex, maybe uh, traveling, maybe something else. What are your alternatives? Always ask yourself that what is the substitute? If I don't study, so what is the next target? What is that thing which is better than study? If there is nothing better than study, so logical it is that you need study. Another thing which is highly essential, your environment. Our environment shape us. If you are not a leader, 
so then you need environment leaders they don't need environment i don't need environment because i can work anywhere i can study anywhere i don't need any motivation i don't need any uh, environment i have self control and i don't need environment because i change environment environment is not for me i am for environment but in the initial stage you need environment you need surrounding you need your clean and tidy uh, um, study room your uh, bedroom maybe your study room or you have a separate place for study so that is important that what is your environment noise people disturbance distractions and i have given you a formula that 10 hours turn on your google and only 2 hours turn on your social media because google means youtube google website studies encyclopedia britannica uh, stanford wikipedia this and that so that is also a huge source of study but turn off your whatsapp turn off your facebook turn on your twitter turn on uh, turn off your instagram turn off completely uh, for 10 hours there should be no connection those students who are studying with me on facebook in safe online classrooms so for them classroom safe facebook that is a book that's not just a traditional uh, facebook for sharing your selfies and uh your pictures and stuff like that we use uh, fed, uh facebook for educational purposes because this is the most user friendly uh um, social media uh platform you just turn on the live start speaking discussion comments questions answers it doesn't need any high fi high speed internet and its management that is quite easy however was uh, was talking that uh, you should switch off your so social media no disturbance no distractions that is your self control C can you control yourself that's a very basic question can you control the world the world is so huge can you control your country so huge can you control at least your home your house can you control your house or your village or your town or your city so self that is smaller version Uh, as compared to all other uh, areas that you want to control so can you control yourself self control is highly complicated because our self we are so uh, you know uh, all of the time we are uh, overthinking we are active in stuff we, without results and we want just survival we just want some happiness we just want some uh, satisfaction we just want some small small things and that's okay we want to eat we want to sleep and that's okay if we have a few thousand of uh, dollars it's more than enough it's all right so self control that is highly essential for your studying habits now make your time table now time table doesn't mean our is best it means that it should be days based for example for 3 days you should study only one subject after 3 days you may get bored up so change that subject out of 3 days but don't study hour and hour from this hour to that hour because that is not manageable your goals must be measurable your goals must be clear and it should be measurable you can measure it so after 3 days you will be having a clear idea that what did you study if it is on daily basis or hourly basis so you will be you know in such a hap hazard situation you will be having the hassle you will be in hurry maybe some guest come maybe some problem occurs and then you cannot maintain your time table so that will be disappointing you and once the disappointment circle starts so it will push you towards negativity and uh, when we don't achieve small things so then we are disappointed for bigger things so that's why one should be practical one should be clear one should be rational and sometimes we underestimate ourselves and sometimes we overestimate ourselves so for another important tip for study that is group study group study be part of a team be part of a professional course have a mentor have a guide have a teacher have some disciplined environment who can control you who can give you some targets who can um, ask you questions who can you have a little uh, a shame a little uh, kind of uh, sense of responsibility sense of duty that somebody is there waiting for me pushing me motivating me reinforcing me inspiring me uh, somebody is there who i will make happy because of my studies because of my results 
So this uh, kind of group study, teamwork spirit, uh, that is also highly essential because individuals, when we are individuals alone, we are social animals, we want society, we want company, we want discussions, we want debates, and then there is no one to ask, uh, to answer our questions. So then it becomes a little uh, boring, disappointing, and uh, it is uh, becoming a little lethargic. And uh, we, we think that it's the same day, the same stuff all the times. I'm having my books and my gadgets and there is no uh, kind of uh, some change or some variety or uh, <clears throat> someone to control me. So group study that is important. If you have some colleagues, if you have some uh, people in your family or in your area where you can sit together and you can have your discussions and debates, that's all right. Safe online classrooms are always available. I am always, always available. Uh, for professional guidance but that is only possible in a limited environment because uh, in a bigger bigger uh, environment like this group we are, there are 42,000 members so I may not be able professionally to reach to everyone but if there is a limited kind of number 100 people 50 people then I can manage it properly so this is just a suggestion that you should have uh, an environment where you have other people also pursuing the same goal so you can learn from each other you can share your problems you can share your troubles and you can discuss with each other uh, what you are going through what she or he is going through so that exchange of ideas exchange of um, weaves it also give us psychological boost and then we also become more productive now to summarize my this lecture how to be consistent in studying it means that you should have a goal why I am studying, do you need study or you don't need study and uh, you have to make a timetable, you have to make an environment, you have to set, you have to divide uh, your uh, 24 hours, you have to eat, you have to sleep, you have to socialize, you have to uh, uh, be with the people but it should be chunking. Chunking means that you should divide your pieces of time into manageable chunks so that uh, you are clear that at what time what you have to do. It should not be haphazard, it should not be disorganized because if it is disorganized then the results don't come. And don't be disappointed in the beginning because learning is a slow process, it takes time. But if you can achieve small things then you will be able to achieve big things. Focus on small things. Can you write a sentence? If you can write a sentence, then you will be able to write a paragraph. If you can write a paragraph, then you will be able to write an essay. So it is gradual. It's not at the one time that I want to write an essay. And for that essay, you are spending hours and hours and days and days and weeks and weeks. And after 20 days, you produce one essay. So that is counterproductive. Just work on your basics, on your alphabet, on your um, syllables on your phrases, on your words, on your idioms, on your sentences, on your uh, paragraphs and then slowly and gradually if you can write one paragraph you can write hundred of paragraphs but if you cannot write one paragraph so you will be zero you will be unable to get hundred paragraphs because one paragraph will give you the structure once you control the structure so automatically uh, then you will be able to uh, write many many paragraphs one paragraph means hundred paragraphs and if no one paragraph it means that you don't have to, uh, you, you, you are not capable to write even one paragraph. Once you understand the structure, then you collect data, you collect information, you collect knowledge, and then you build on, on your structure because now the basics are there, your foundation is strong, and on this foundation, now you can construct a huge building uh, that will be uh, for you now achievable. But if you can, cannot lay down the first uh, bricks or the first stones, so how it is possible that you are expecting a huge building? That is not possible. So for consistency in study, make it your need. You need it. As consistently we are eating because we need eating. We eat daily two times, three times, four times because we need it. If we don't, we don't eat, we will die. So that's why if you don't study, you, you have a bleak, you have a dark future. You don't have a, a bright future. You need it because you want to be a prominent personality. You want to do something in this life. You don't want to die like a dog. You don't want to die like an animal. You don't want to die like a person who did nothing on this planet. He came and went and uh, left nothing. You must create legacy. And that is my formula. Laughable. Learn, apply, accomplish, be famous and leave legacy. 
think about your 60 years, 70 years, 80 years of your life. When you will be dying at the age of 90, what you will be leaving to, uh, for this world? What are your footprints? What are your marks? What are your accomplishments being a human being? Did you just uh, take oxygen and um, you just uh, did the uh, exhalation of uh, carbon dioxide? Or you did something huge that you are proud once you are dying and you are dying like a satisfied, satisfied person, like a happy person that I did something and now I accomplished my goal on this planet and now I'm uh, going and bye bye. So I'm not going to die, but I'm just finishing by this lecture because some people, they are asking me that how to be consistent in study. So I gave you some of the tips. Please act upon. Listening is one thing and then acting upon it is another thing. Listening is not your first and last duty. Once you get these tips, how you implement it and how you uh, change yourself and then give me your feedback as a comment tomorrow, day after tomorrow. Search for this lecture that, sir, I acted upon your tips and this is my accomplishment and I really uh, enjoyed and the last point once again that is enjoy your study enjoy because you are getting something as you enjoy getting money as you enjoy eating also enjoy eating knowledge data information enjoy it once you enjoy so you are a smart working person and you won't be uh, bored of your studies and you will pursue it with your full enthusiasm, your, your full involvement and with your full energy, your full focus, your full dedication because you consider it something significant, you consider it something important, you consider it something crucial, you consider it something decisive. This is something which is useful. It's not something that you are wasting your time, energy. You are not, uh, when you are studying, so you are doing a great thing, a sacred thing, a magnificent thing. This is something that you must enjoy because this thing is uh, a, a great thing. It's not something which is uh, uh, ordinary or it is something which is not important. It is something important. So why you will be not doing it? Because it is important. It is essential. It is required. It is your need. Are the best take care.